Hey there, welcome back to TCL's channel. Remember, in our last video when we talked about choosing a big screen TV and what particular size to choose based on different viewing distances, well today, let's dive deeper into why we make these choices and how we calculate these specific numbers. Before getting into specific sizes, let's first understand a concept, the field of view of the human eye, and how it relates to watching TV. According to scientific studies, the human eye's horizontal field of view is approximately 200 degrees, with the vertical field of view being approximately 150 degrees. That almost sounds like sitting in the first row of an IMAX theatre. Well, in reality, a significant portion within this range is peripheral vision, also known as peripheral view. Although we can see it, it's not as clear or easily discernible. The SMPTE has also conducted research on this aspect of human vision. According to the SMPTE, the optimal viewing angle for the human eye is between 30 degrees and 40 degrees. This means that sitting at a distance where the screen feels at least 30 to 40 degrees of your horizontal central field of view will provide a good viewing experience. But let's not rush into selecting the size just yet. There's more to consider regarding these two angles. According to Arting's research, when the screen occupies a viewing angle of around 30 degrees, the human eye can focus clearly on the overall picture. In this case, 30 degrees is the lowest standard for daily viewing needs. If it's under 30 degrees, you can hardly see the image, let alone grasping more detailed info from news or sports games. On the other hand, a viewing angle of around 40 degrees provides a balance between visual comfort and immersive experience. It's ideal for watching movies, TV shows or games allowing viewers to immerse themselves fully in the story or action. So, here's the question. Which angle should we use as a reference when buying a TV for our home? I recommend using 40 degrees as a starting point. Based on our previous discussion, in most households, smaller TVs are more aligned with the 30 degree viewing angle, mainly for daily use. On the other hand, Larger TVs can fill the 40 degree field of view, providing a more immersive viewing experience. Think about it. What do you watch mostly on TV? I mean, unless you're Christopher Nolan, most of us have smartphones these days, and we can access news and social media feeds on our phones anytime, anywhere. Therefore, when watching TV, we usually do it for leisure and pure entertainment, such as watching movies, TV shows, or gaming, right? If you're already choosing a big screen for that immersive experience, why not experience it to the fullest within your budget? In this case, immersion becomes the primary factor to consider. Think about when we go to movie theatres. Most people prefer seats in rows 5 to 8, which are definitely more thrilling than rows 7 to 12. When watching blockbusters at home, having the screen fill your field of view just like in a movie theater, is irresistible. So, according to Arting's theory and combining it with the 40 degree viewing angle, we can derive the formula for choosing the screen size based on different viewing distances. Once we have the angle determined, we get a 20 degree field of vision. According to tangent function, tan 20 equals to A divided by B, the value being 0.364 in which B is the viewing distance, while A is half the length of the TV. Based on that, we can calculate in reverse that the best viewing distance for a 75-inch TV is 7.5 feet. At a viewing distance of 8.5 feet, choose an 85-inch TV. At a viewing distance of 9.8 feet, choose a 98-inch TV. At a viewing distance of 11.5 feet, choose a 115-inch TV. See? I'm 8.5 feet away from the screen and an 85 inch TV feels just right for me. Though it's noteworthy that most TV screens nowadays offer 4K resolution, so that viewers don't really pick up on pixels from two feet away from the screen. Although the 40 degree viewing angle is recommended for the mass majority, for those who wish to have an even more immersive viewing experience, 
it's not a bad idea to have a horizontal field of view wider than 40 degrees or pick a size bigger on top of our recommended standards. After watching today's video, I hope you never have to worry about choosing the right size TV ever again. If you have a ruler in hand, you can calculate the perfect big screen TV for your home. All right, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.